Hello and welcome back everybody to Vault 999. We're playing Fallout Shelter here. Uh, we did complete an objective. I didn't quite see what it was because I was starting up the video, but we got 240 caps, so that's never really a bad thing. Uh, looks like Kevin Lee and Samantha Clark. Look at this horror match made in heaven here. <laughs> Gas mask and uh, Jason mask. They made a beautiful little baby named Anna Clark Clark Lee no Lee Clark sounds better Lee Clark oh, okay killed 26 creatures in the wasteland um, what I did last night because we were waiting on um, uh oh looks like George King's dead revive recall I'm gonna get this done first check on our people Damn, Gerald Hancock died. I thought he had enough stim packs. Christian's already waiting. Beverly Duncan's going strong. Carol Owens is doing all right. What did she get here? She got a wrestler outfit. Interesting. Kevin Lee is doing all right, so we'll leave them with that. You'll notice that there's oh, there's another baby. Kevin Lee and Linda Cookerson made a baby called Amber. Lee Cook Urson. Nope, too long. Okay, well, Lee Cookers? It won't let me. <laughs> Lee Cookers works for me. Bam, another baby. How many more babies do we have? Hmm, I don't know. Anyways. Um, I was saying what I did last night is I made sure that we had as many people training as possible. And uh, I built up our power generator. I think I did that off camera. And I built another water treatment facility because we were, for some reason, running out of water really, really quick when I expanded the laboratory. But that kind of makes sense because they're, you know, like, like, look at this. They're like burning off water right here. So, <laughs> or whatever that is. So we gotta keep an eye on that, but we started off, everything was in the green, so we're good. Uh, we are able to make another facility, we're able to unlock the game room to increase people's luck. And luck, oh come on, luck in the vault. Who's smoking in the storage room? We gonna have to have some discipline in the vault here? Guys know you have to smoke outside. That's why there's very few smokers in Vault 999, because you got to go out into the wasteland in order to uh, get your smokes in. Actually, I'm going to take a quick look at what we have right now. Rifle, shotgun... Hmm. Because it seems like we're going to need to get rid of some stuff. Alright. So all the low-end stuff we don't need, the high-end stuff we'll take... Pistols? Nah, not even gonna bother. We're past needing pistols at this point. Um, agility 1? Nah, it'll suck. Get rid of those. And military fatigues we'll keep, but I needed to clear the area. Collect. Uh, Christian, I think, did die, unfortunately, um, while he was out in the wasteland, but we revived him, so he's not really bringing all that much money back. But, you know, he's gaining his skills, he's, um, he's learning the ropes of the wasteland, and that's the important thing right now, is that we're training our people up. Speaking of training, we have three, three beasts in the in the strength training room that are getting themselves beefed up. Anybody? No. Not worth changing up anybody right now, but what we could do is we could find one of these strong performers like Mr. Paul Anderson. Oh, he already has one. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Military fatigues. Mrs. Anderson, there's some military fatigues for you. Is that all we have? Uh, yep, that's all we have. All right, so I think everybody has everybody has an outfit. Yeah. All 
Alright, speaking of agility, everybody has... Yeah, there's six of them in there. What are you wearing? Dude's hiding in there. Alright, we have Noah. We'll give him the handyman jumpsuit. Do we have another one? Yes. So, we don't really need raider outfits much anymore. Um, what kind of training level do you guys have? You guys more productive than them? Yeah, more productive than some people in there. What about you, Noah? No, you're not much help. <clears throat> so, keep training, buddy. Keep training. One day you will be of much help. Alright, we have perception training. We got Valerie in here working on her perceptions so that she can go out and explore. And Billy Duncan, we'll see if he is... He's got a P of 7. So he is higher than Margaret, who has the same gear, so that works out. And it looks like we're good for water with just um, with just Adam Cookwoodley in there. And uh, another thing I want to do is I want to get all of our uh, all of our subscribers as uh, explorers, because I figure that would, it only makes sense. But, um, unfortunately we're going to have to wait on that. I guess I could send them out for a little while. Yeah, I could do that. I could send everybody out for a little while, because remember... This is gonna. This is our second last episode of the of the uh, series right now. So I guess I don't need to give him too many stim packs, do I? All right, fifteen. Where are our other subscribers? Christian M. is on a coffee break. We'll let him chill for a little while. And yeah, we need to bring people back, like. Beverly Duncan and swap them out with uh, some of our subscribers. Make it a little bit more fun for them. Well, Valerie is training, but we could send her out for a little while. Um, 10 and 5 will probably do the trick. Who else do we have? Oh, I just saw him. Spinning this thing too fast. Dimitri, here he is. Alright, Dimitri. You have a good enough weapon there, buddy? Rusty hunting rifle. We'll give you a rusty laser pistol. We'll send you out. The whole point of sending them out right now is to um, get a little bit more money before we uh, before we go on the trip and we have one more person to look for where is he? Braden, there he is, he's working in the clinic but you know what buddy time to get your feet wet we'll give him um, enhanced hunting rifle we're sending you out 10 and 5, or 15 and 5? I don't remember what I gave him. We'll give him a couple extra because his endurance isn't very good. So get him out exploring. Mole rats. Here, take a gun, buddy. Hunting rifle. Come on. Be strong. Show those mole rats who's boss. Good job. Good job. See, mole rats, the whole thing with them is that they're kind of ridiculously tough, but then they're not, so I don't, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. It seems the bigger your vault is, the tougher they are. Alright, Jack Duncan, what are you guys doing? In, uh, is, that, is that all we had for you at the time? I'll give you a lab coat and a gun. And Samantha Clark, yeah, you're you're a nerd too, so we'll give you a nerd coat. Nothing against nerds, I'm a nerd myself. 
not taking pot shots. Everybody has their strengths. Everybody has their challenges. So anyways, you'll notice there's a two over here. While I was building up our reserves of stem packs that we could send people out today, I managed to complete a bunch of uh, challenges. Actually, I want to check the challenges. Collect 18 weapons. Deliver 9 babies. We're not doing any babies challenges. I want to stick the... I want to keep the, uh, the vault... I want it to stabilize right now before we go. I don't want to be adding people and then we need more food and then I build a food thing and then we need more power and then we're juggling around like a bunch of maniacs. Alright. Christian, we're going to put you up in here. Do we already use all of our horror fan outfits? I think we did. Yeah. Who's this? Brayden. Didn't we send you out... Oh, we sent him out when there was a fire. So he's like, okay, so I can stay here, right? <laughs> I don't have to go out there, right? Yeah, you do, buddy. We'll give Christian 10 stim packs because his endurance is much higher. Oh, we don't have any. What? All right, we're going to have to wait for some right away for him. Only two minutes, all right. Do we have enough time? I think we have enough time to do all these things. So, let's open this lunch box. People are saying, come on, open it! Caps, always good. Rataway, we need some of those. Handyman jumpsuit, not bad. Enhanced sniper rifle, sweet. What else we got? Alright, first card, military fatigues, we can use that. Rataway, that's alright. Caps. And our last one is Armor Piercing Lever Action Rifle. Nah, not the best. But, whatever. It's still free, more or less. And, um... We'll see how these weapons compare to our Rusty Laser Rifle. Nope, oh, still nothing's better than them. Actually would have been better if we would have sent people out with the better weapons. <laughs> hmm. Well. That's something to know in the future. Open your lunch boxes before you send people out to the wasteland. Alright, now you coming with those, uh... Think we can move things along here? There we go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we'll get Christian out into the wasteland where he belongs. That's where he feels... That's where he likes it the best, I'm sure, with this crazy horror fan outfit. Scaring all the bad guys and taking their loot. Alright, we don't have very many people training because we sent a bunch of people out. But as long as we're making our our requirements for our um, our resources here, our required resources, then we're alright. That's the main thing. We can always train people later. This is not wasted. This will be used. When I go on my vacation, I'm planning on stocking everybody up in the... Um, in the training facilities, because when I come back, whatever training facility they're in, they're probably going to be max level. So that'll be good. So it'll make more sense to put them in a room where they can really learn something. You know, if they have one, two, or three, put them in the room, as opposed to if they have, like, higher than that, then they don't get as much benefit. Because the amount of time I'm going to be gone is uh, the same. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hopefully... We all learned something today. Um, sometimes you do have to kind of fiddle around and wait and rush and kind of have the game in, in the you know in the background while you're checking your email or whatever and check up on it and then you get you get way more stim packs that way. But um, you also got to deal with the hassles of spontaneous storage room fires and whatnot. You know maybe it was the rats smoking in there. Who knows? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the show. And we'll see you next time. Have a good one.